Hi, I think we should make it illegal to own guns. Oh no, why? They are too dangerous. Then why do gun owners feel safer owning them? They're wrong. You're just as likely to shoot yourself as an intruder. Not if you know that the bullet comes out of the end with a hole in it. Well, guns are almost never used in self-defense. Are you familiar with the actual statistics on that? Those people should have waited for the police. Sometimes criminals are in a hurry. Or they won't let you use the phone. Not even a text message. For people who don't follow the law, they can be pretty strict. You still don't need guns to stop criminals. How do shooting sprees usually end? With an apology? No, with a gun. Yes, they should wait for the shooter to shoot himself. What if it takes him too long to run out of bullets? That's why we should outlaw magazines with too many bullets in them. People using them for self-defense don't need many bullets anyway. How many should you get? One. What if you want to fire a warning shot? Fine. Two then. What if you miss? Okay, but no more than three bullets. What if there are two or more attackers? I'm going to be generous and allow people to have six bullets in a gun, but that's my final offer. What if you miss more than once? Then the criminals have earned a chance to strike back. I'm sorry, but you have to draw the line somewhere. If you want to ban guns so much, why not try to repeal the Second Amendment? I'd rather not bring the American voters into this issue. Liberal courts can handle it. It sounds like you don't have much respect for the Constitution. The Constitution is just an excuse for people to tell me I can't implement my good ideas. When do I get to hear the good ones? The Second Amendment is out of date. It's only for militias. Didn't people use guns for self-defense or hunting back in the 1700s? Well, they should only have been allowed to do those things if they joined a militia first. Do you really want all the gun owners to join militias? On second thought, militias are out of date and they should be banned too. I'm guessing you are not a big hunter. I happen to be a vegetarian. Oh. I mean vegan. Whichever is trendier at the moment. You could still hunt for sport. It's not a sport. The animals are completely defenseless. Not true. What's their defense? They run away and hide. Those still aren't even odds. Hunters are too skilled. I thought you said guns were so dangerous that their owners were just as likely to shoot themselves. Regardless, people shouldn't hunt. They should take up a new hobby that's more appropriate for a civilized society. Like what? Knitting sweaters. That's not very manly. I know. But American culture is too masculine. You think it should be more feminine? I prefer the term neutered. Oh. I don't want to be neutered. That's because you're uncivilized. Every sophisticated person knows we should make guns illegal. Who told you that? Liberals who don't own guns. That doesn't help your case. Nobody smart enough to want a gun ban is going to own a gun. Actually there are some people who have guns who want to make them illegal. Really? All the criminals who already have guns. Don't give me that line about how outlawing guns means only outlaws will have guns. I hate that catchphrase. Has it ever been disproven? Regardless, it's annoying to hear people say it. And I do believe the government can get all the guns. How? There are millions of them. Law-abiding citizens would return them. I thought the point was to get them away from criminals. Disarming the law-abiding gun owners is a good first step. Why? Because those are the ones who vote Republican. Wouldn't criminals become emboldened if they knew none of their victims had a chance of carrying a gun anymore? It's still a good policy once the government has learned how to get guns away from all the criminals. Everyone else is defenseless in the meantime. Sometimes you have to die for something you believe in. But I don't believe in banning guns. Oh. What I meant was, sometimes you have to die for something I believe in.